It's time now for Voices of the Region. Each week we hear from a journalist covering stories of interest in the Northland. This week our reporter is Heidi Holton from KAXE Community Radio in Grand Rapids. We've reported on Senator Dave Tomasoni, longtime Minnesota Senator and Representative, once a DFLer, now an Independent. The longtime Chisholm legislators helping lead two bills to put tens of millions of dollars towards research into ALS, a disease he was diagnosed with last June. That proposal would support research to fund a cure for the neurodegenerative disease while also aiding caregivers. He was joined by former pro athletes, medical experts, and a bipartisan group of colleagues from the House and Senate, some of who shared their own connection to the disease. ALS is also on our minds as two of our longtime contributors and hosts have been diagnosed with it. We recently talked with Jack Shelton and his wife, Cindy, about how he found out he had ALS. Funny thing, my snack is peanuts. And I got to the point where I got coughing fits. And there would be things that stick in the back of my throat. And, you know, it was kind of annoying, but I sort of worked my way around it. And, then, and the next thing you know, Cindy notices me slurring. And it was just some words, polysyllabic words are the worst. So she was worried. It's not like I'm 40. You know, I'm precious close to my 79th birthday. You know, that's way past life expectations. Jack and Cindy are excited that they're going to be adopting a service dog for Jack named Izzy, who's going to help them with this progressive disease. It's going to affect Jack's ability to initiate and control muscle movements. And those with ALS will eventually lose the ability to speak, eat, move, and breathe. We were glad they told us their story. We also took time this week to remember artist Jim Denemy. He passed away. His bright, colorful images in totems, paintings, and murals are known for their social commentary, dark humor, and their symbolism. Denemy died of cancer early Tuesday at home with his wife and daughters. Our arts reporter Katie Carter talked with him in 2016 about how he found art. And he started at the University of Minnesota thinking he was going to study health sciences. But I ended up taking some art classes that inspired my artistic spirit again, which was dormant for a number of years during my addicted years. I met a group of people who were similar to me, who had grown up disconnected from their culture, their heritage. Everybody hungry to go back and learn more and pick up some of the pieces that were left behind. The language, going to ceremonies, powwows, wild rice gathering. And once I started to learn those things, I learned more who I was. My identity and my history became my subject matter for my paintings, which were a form of storytelling, which also comes out of my Ojibwe heritage and my clan sign, which is the crane. And we are orators of our tribe. We continue our programming about nature and collaborate with students from across the state of Minnesota. Thanks to a grant from the Legislative Citizen Commission on Minnesota Resources, we're able to offer free teacher trainings also for naturalists or 4-H leaders. There's an upcoming training at Pike Lake Elementary near Duluth. It's coming up March 12th on a Saturday. It's led by John Latimer. He is our resident phenologist. He's been producing the program for over 38 years, a retired rural male Carrier. This week, he told us to be listening for the great horned owl. They're calling right now. They're sitting on eggs. They're preparing for hatching in the next four to five weeks. Because eggs are laid two to three days apart, the offspring will be a few days older or younger than their siblings. He also said to be listening for the northern cardinal. Some describe that sound as birdie, 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 or witch ear, witch ear. Their songs serve a variety of purposes to find a mate or to stake out their territory. All good signs that spring is going to finally come. <laughs> 